pretty exciting stuff guys it's going to be something a little bit different i hope that you find this really interesting because i started doing the the sponsored or the widening of the boat itself to, to make it AS1799 compliant for maximum horsepower but I've also made a fair bit of progress with this back extension now still a bit to do a lot of uh, stuff to clean up here but um, as you can see what I've done is I've started to tie it into the back of the boat and what I've got to do is basically exactly the same that I've done with all my other tabbing is, is form that up grind that back form that up and uh, basically overlap get this down so that's a h60 foam with a couple of layers of double bias on either side and chop strand mat and then i've added 600 gram double bias over the top of that chops separated by chop strand mat or i say chop separated by chop strand mat so that's separated by chop strand mat and then double bias 600 gram double bias on top of that with chop strand mat on top of it again so you can see that if we come across to the other side here. That's uh, pretty evident over here, guys. So that's the FF360 that you can see there. That's the foam in there. I've got a glass all of that over. So don't pay any attention to how that looks at the moment. And then the same thing here. Got to fix all of that up and then glass over that to lock it all in. And the same with on the transom there, where it comes up to where the motor's going to bolt on. That's going to be glassed up bring it up, lock it all into place, and uh, finish it off. So that's how that's looking, guys. Still a lot of work to do to this. Tidy it up, fair it off, sand it back. Um, done a little bit of uh, prepping for some paint work on the back here. Uh, still got a lot of work to do here, a lot of glass work and everything. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So this is my extension let's call it a uh, sponson so it's coming out from the from the hull we've got 100 millimeters so the chine so there's a chine there you can see that this is the original chine here and we've got a secondary chine that's going to be coming up it's 132 132 millimeters from this chine to that chine i don't know how to come up with that figure but that's part of the design and then it starts to come up if you can have a look you'll see that it starts to come up further towards the bow and it comes around i've got a lot of um, sanding to do there i've got to get all of that straight make sure it's nice and neat i'm going to bring that up so what i'm going to do is i'm essentially going to bring that up bring it in and then i'm going to bring this down so that it's um level and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some bumpers along here I'm going to put up an image so you can see what my intent is, whether it, it's going to be exactly the same as that, or I don't know. But I'm going to play around with the idea. And there's a lot of sort of uh, trial and error stuff here. It's going to be try it, see how it looks, play around with it, and try and get it looking like it's originally part of the boat. The thing is about this boat is I need it to be functional. I don't really need it to be the shiniest boat out there or the best looking boat out there. I want it to be functional. And I want it to look rugged to a point you know so essentially what i've got to do here is you can see so this is going to be the second time when i glass all of that in that's going to be all glassed this is going to come around and it's going to come up and match and sort of be part of that original structure of the boat and obviously these skin fittings will have to come off i'll fix all that up and uh, same sort of thing bring that down so that it's level so it's no longer got that little spray chine there and and tidy that right that's going to take a fair bit of time a lot of sanding a lot of fairing a lot of work but if we go along here so what i've done is i've just put a a layer of vinyl ester resin over the top of that to to um, basically seal it off if you like um that uh the original drawing just shows that with a bit of foam and it's uh filled with foam and that it basically just forms the shape the structure in itself I'll have to glass up underneath here. So what I want to do, I've already, if you can see there, I've already started doing a bit of a radius there. All right, I've used my um, uh, ice cream containers to do that, where I cut the ice cream containers up, put it in the finger and just run along. I've, I've used that for that and the same for along here. 
That's all vinyl ester resin you can see over there. I gave it a really good soak with vinyl ester resin because what I want it to do is soak down into that foam, that H80 PVC foam, and uh, make it nice and solid. So that's, you know, that's got to be all glassed in from underneath here. I, look, I was going to glass it before putting it in there, but then I thought, well, I've got to lock it in anyway. So what I've got to do is I've got to glass up this wall here on part of the boat and then come along here on the chine and then come up. So it's all got to be locked into place. All got to be very, very strong because when you're bouncing over those waves, obviously, you're going to have to make sure that it's not going to flex and bend and move and do stupid things. There's a little couple of little bit of bits in there that I've got to fix up as well, but uh, that's a bit of sanding, a bit of fairing, a bit of sanding. It's underwater, so I can't use micro balloons or Q-cell. Uh, you'd, you'd buy an elastic resin and just fix all of that up, get that nice and smooth, get a bit of time in there. But overall, I don't think it's looking too bad. You can see, so I've come out 100 millimeters down the back there, you can see that, right? So that, that all looks, you know, unfinished. <laughs> That's because it is. So this will all come down. And uh, like I said, have a look at that picture. Tell me what you think. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think of, you know, if you've done something like this before uh, and you've got a project on the go that you're doing and uh, you want to you wanna share it, then share it with me. I want to have a look at it. So that's it, guys. That's it for now. Um, I'm out of here for now. I've got to get going, but uh, I'll be back doing some more work very, very soon. Thanks, guys.